tell me about your fascination with solar and what you're what you're up to. Well, uh, I'll capsize the story on my mission of mercy here. <laughs> I call it Commando Solar, or the SSI Strategic Solar Initiative. And basically, uh, I've, I'm seeing now. I just finished the, the first in the series. I'm seeing now that this is a large fan out project because I'm getting uh, donations already. And basically, identify people who have run out of money, don't have electricity or basic services and uh, go in with a, a small solar station set up basically what I call the third world hut system. That would be a cube refrigerator, two lights for four hours a night, uh, a fan, a cell charger because people in the third world have cells and don't want to charge it. And if, if you have a laptop you can charge it or whatever and, and, and a little bit of excess power. So you were installing the solar panels in the deluge yeah, exactly. I was <laughs> finishing it up in the deluge, trying to keep water out of the drill on the roof, <laughs> putting these things in. And it was warm enough that it wasn't any big whoop, but you know, you have to watch. I did get shocked. It's like sending something out into space when you do this, too, because you just have to do everything you do to make the system work for long term. And I came back a couple days after we installed it, about 48 hours, just to be sure it's still running. And then we came down to San Antonio. In the meantime, we posted this on Google Plus and YouTube and getting offers of donations now. You posted the installation? Uh, yeah, first half anyway. I didn't edit the other half. And um, obviously people want to be involved in this. What, what Bob has done with your generosity has improved my life. So this is good. Now I can, and then I can branch this out into training. You know, I'll uh, have a solar training course now, but it's full semester on DVD kind of thing. I'll, I'll capsize it down to here's the st strategic install. This is all you need to know. Nice, yeah. it's a beautiful thing. You know, and what I love about it is these panels are purple and they're silent, and they just sit there doing their thing. There's no machinations and mechanical movements, and it's just a peaceful Zen thing. When they're done, there's no sound. It's just the birds the whole way, you know? And, uh, kind of like the natural world. Kind of like the natural world. It needs to be in the silent flow of everything. And, and so anyway, I think that's my path to a peaceful Zen world. That, my path to reducing human suffering, which is really my, that's my sub-goal. That's the, the goal here. Reduce human suffering in any way we can. And it takes just a little bit of the basics to do that in so many cases, you know? So. What do you consider to be the most significant advancement in human history? Up to now? Yeah. It's probably going to be the internet. I hate to say it. I don't know why I hate to say it, but uh, I think we're going to find out that we've given birth to silicon life when these machines become self-aware, and then it won't be in human's <laughs> history anymore. It will be in machine history. The most important advancement was the birth of the internet. You know, I mean, when we managed to obtain fire, it set us on the road to electricity, mm -hmm. smelting metals. Yeah. When we developed the ability to speak, use language, mm -hmm. it set us on the route to the internet, communications networks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what will the communications networks and the electricity create then themselves later on? We either have a choice of moderating the way we live on this planet because of its finite nature, leaving the planet, or, or having giant calls of population. And we certainly are, certainly are interesting creatures, uh, but our, 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 our end goal, people like myself, would be to absolutely leave the planet and also to attract foreign civilizations to contact us because uh, we need more information about what our place in the infinite gas bag of possibilities are, as I call it, the infinite bag of uh, everythingness that we are a part of. Do you have a... Uh a positive sense of human fate or kind of a fatalistic sense of human fate? In the, in the big scheme of things, there is no success for humanity or, or no perfect outcome or any of that stuff where we're finally 98% successful in our, in our human you know, existence. That's just BS. We don't need to think, we don't need to ask those questions. All we need to do is act in uh, nonverbal reverence of, the, of this, uh, this nonverbal understanding, reverence of this nonverbal understanding of our uh, relation to the infinite beauty, which is this. Yeah. So, and that's, that's not that difficult. Rast vitali, jablani i gruši, paplani, tuman na drikon, pika di la na bari ketuša, a visok, kaj bili na krutoj, i 
Different types of displays to look at things. Yeah. Russian? Uh, naturally. That's Katusha with no, the that I mean, the guitar has a very pretty voice. Yeah. What is it? 